What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here. And before we get to commercial mackerel fishing today, I wanna to give a huge thank you to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. AG1 is a nutritional supplement made to upgrade your daily routine and live a healthier lifestyle. Ah! All right, Brendan's on. It's super windy out here and super choppy. We're out here catching Spanish mackerel and some bluefish. There's Brendan, there's Billy. Oh no! falling off this boat. It's kind of interesting because the top of this boat is like really high and one step over you're done. Sorry about the wind if it's causing issues with the sound but it's honking. However, wait, hold on. Billy just lost his lure due to a mackerel because they do have teeth and they tend to cut the line from time to time. But I got this secret lure for him. Are you ready for your lure? Sure. <laughs> it was. I knew it was. I know. I've caught a lot of mackerel in these actually. Really? Yeah, I've had these before. Just That's wait till you open lure. it. <laughs> I saved that lure just for Billy, but we're going to go ahead and re-rig. I had some uh, wire on mine, but the water is so clear I went ahead and took it off. Did you have to buy the gold one? We got some more. The gold one? You don't like the gold one? What is this? South Florida or something? Why? You like the silver? Silver is better. Everyone nah. That one's better, you'll see why. <laughs> All right, so let me get out of the wind here and explain to you guys what's going on. So Billy and Brendan both commercial fish out here in South Florida off the East Coast. And during the winter time, we get our mackerel run. Um, it's a little bit late this year just because of the hurricanes that we did have but they're starting to show up again. As you guys can tell, we do have some mackerel in the boat. We came out earlier this morning and there wasn't any mackerel off the beaches. So a lot of the commercial fishermen were inshore looking for mullet instead, just kind of waiting for that tide change. What? Oh, the porpoise is here. The dolphin's over there. <laughs> so when it comes to porpoise, bottlenose dolphin, when you're fishing, especially mackerel fishing, they will steal the fish right off your hook. They're extremely smart animals, so not really a good sign, but we're gonna go at it. I'm gonna set the GoPro up and just let it roll. is a comprehensive daily nutrition made powerfully simple. It's made up of 75 high quality whole food sourced ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. Carefully curated to nourish all the body's systems holistically. Going into the new year, set goals and routines. Now setting a routine helps you stay on track because I know it helps me stay on track. So every morning before my coffee, which you guys know I love my coffee, I drink AG1 to get all the nutrition and minerals I need to start my day. When we're feeling our best, we show up better and Athletic Greens is the perfect first step to starting each morning routine. So for me, taking Athletic Greens every morning, I'm hoping to improve my digestion, improve my absorption, uh, have more sustainable energy throughout the day because I'm always on the go, and also improve my mental clarity and focus. One of the awesome things I love about AG1 is it's very effortless to add into your daily habit. You just take one scoop and put it into eight ounces of water, or you can even just use the travel packet and bring it with you wherever you go. AG1 replaces your key health products. It combines nine essentials working together as one, such as your multivitamin, your multiminerals, your pre and probiotics, immunity support, and more. Not to mention, I absolutely love the flavor. And I've had a lot of green drinks in my lifetime. And let me tell you, this one 
one goes down so smooth you don't drink it and like cringe <laughs> it's a very light watery almost a little bit earthy which like with like a touch of citrus like i can't even explain it but it goes down super smooth because i know people get a little spooked with the green but no worries this one's delicious you guys can go to athleticgreens.com slash kelly young to get started on your order Athletic Greens is going to give my audience a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D3, K2, and five free travel packs with your first purchase. That's athleticgreens.com slash Kelly Young. Now we can get back to mackerel fishing. Brandon just got a nice Spanish mackerel. That's the biggest one so far. Oh, you That's big. messed it up. What? Get out of here. myself off. That never happened. Oh, please. There's no proof. Every time. There's no proof. Look at the size of this thing. Hold on. Huh. Let me put my foot next to it for, for comparison. That's like a little kingfish. That's a big Spanish mackerel. Well, if 
You didn't take so long to get your fish in the boat. <laughs> That was Pierce. Yeah. bluefish so in the beginning I was using like a silver spoon on a little bit of wire and I caught a fish but I kept just like they would hit it and not stick so then we switched to just a little piece of plastic with a hook here and this thing is killing them literally Bluefish. What we didn't say is we hired a male stripper today. Billy Roberts. Don't take off all your clothes. <laughs> Brandon, you're supposed to catch the fish. I'm sorry. I'll try that next time. The less clothes you have, the more fish you get. <laughs> That's an undisputable. Ah, there's a shark. Put them in here. Ah, there's a shark. <laughs> Was there? Yeah. Get him in there. Oh. This is going to be a very noisy video. So when me and Billy were fishing off the back here, he did see a spinner shark jump out of the water. and. For some reason, I have never actually seen a spinner shark, so I'm keeping my eyes peeled.
like it again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. Through his eyeball. just swipe at it but in this case we're just reeling reeling letting it drop reeling reeling letting it drop and when they when the lure drops that's when they're hitting it right now there's probably there's probably like 40 boats out here catching mackerel them fish sitting out in the sun. They'll get super mushy super fast. chase your plug or your your lure right up to the boat and just still not commit to it and eat it. Did he hit it, drop it, and hit it again? I hit it, drop it, and I hooked another one. That's what sucks about these tubes. The hookup ratio is great on them. Oh, there you go. Get him. That's a good one. Beautiful, well done. Well, he took my hook. At least he didn't swallow it. Yeah. You get it back. At least I lost it in the boat. Yeah. Sorry, sorry that. Yeah, not too many jumpers, but lots and lots of large.
we've been probably mackerel fishing for like three or four hours right now and I have this little camera. It actually goes on your fishing line, um, on your leader when you troll or when you fish, but I'm just, I'm just putting it down on some leader line on this roll here and I'm just gonna hand line the camera out behind the boat and under the boat just to see if I can't pick up any fish or shark. We do have a few. Are they bull sharks swimming around? Uh, I think they're black tips. Okay. Maybe some couple bull sharks or black tips swimming around. I'm praying they don't eat this. Um, I hope they don't, but uh, mackerel and sharks right now because the water's all chummed up. Anything floats by them, they're probably going to take a bite of it. Um, so wish us luck. If you guys see the footage, then that means I have the camera back. If not, then RIP. First time using it. are dumping the barrel of fish into the ice chest. Um, if that fish camera that I never used before didn't get any footage, I did stick the GoPro in the water and got some beautiful underwater footage of those mackerel. and chum up these fish in the bow of the boat and Billy's gonna see if he can't throw the net on them. Uh, then we're gonna wrap up our day and I'm gonna go ahead and prepare some raw Spanish mackerel, which is very good. One of my favorite fish to sashimi. So we went ahead and tried to throw the net on some of these mackerel. However, the water is actually pretty clean so they could see that net coming from a mile away. And as you can see, when the net hits the water, all those mackerel just disperse so fast making it pretty much impossible to cast net these mackerel right now so as you guys can tell it is the next day here and i'm going to go ahead and fillet this spanish mackerel here now after we were done fishing we're actually fishing from we got to the boat ramp at 6 30 in the morning and we couldn't find the mackerel until probably about 9 30 um but we ended up catching let me go back in the text brandon said that we ended up catching 325 pounds of spanish mackerel and about 70 pounds of the ladyfish and bluefish that we caught so i wouldn't say that's like a terrible day um it's okay there's some days where they catch way more uh but for the conditions that we had as you can tell it was just super rough super windy and for the amount of fish that were there um wasn't terrible so spanish mackerel are actually one of my favorite fish to eat sashimi with now they're pretty simple to fillet you could just stick the knife right behind their gill and their peck fin here at an angle turn the knife lay it flat 
and just do one long cut. Boom. I'm just gonna flip that filet over just like that. Super easy to clean. I'm just gonna set this fish right here. Finley is in the house right now. If you don't know who Finley is, he is my almost 10 month old golden retriever. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this belly meat off there. The skin is tough. Actually, I probably just need to sharpen this knife, honestly. Cut off that belly meat. I'll actually feed that to my chickens. And then I put the filet on the edge of this filet, my filet station right here. I actually have a filet station I'm going to build. I just have to have time to do it. I'm gonna guide that knife down, kind of use the fish for resistance and pull the skin with my left hand, as you guys can see there. Their skin's super thin, so it's very easy to do that, but that's okay. I'm just gonna start from this side and de-skin the fish. Ooh, he is not cooperating. So a lot of people with Spanish mackerel, they'll actually leave the skin on and put them in a smoker and smoke the meat and then make like a fish dip with them. Um, in my case, I want to eat him, eat him, <laughs> eat the fish raw. So I'm taking the skin off, which this one's being super complicated, as you guys can tell. So I'll just sit here and slowly start to fillet that skin off. But as you guys can tell, it's a really beautiful piece of white meat here. I'm going to clean it up in the kitchen, remove the bones, take out any bloodlines, remove all the skin, and then I'm going to slice it up and put it in the freezer for probably about 30 minutes just to give it a little bit more firmness and that ice cold freezer will kill anything that's on the fish and then we're going to eat it raw <laughs> let me see if i can call my chickens over here they'll come hold on Alright, please don't attack my fish. They <laughs> they love fish. Oh, get off. Alright, moving the fillets. They're taking over. They're taking over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, y'all are just ravenous now. This piece is kind of big. Let me cut it. You guys are probably like, this is like the most unsanitary filet station ever, right? I'm keeping the filet up here, don't worry. They just kind of took over. Look, here's a big piece of skin. You want it? Is it too big? Oh. Here you go. I know, it's kind of a big piece. The very first time I gave my chickens a piece of fish, look, one will run around with it and the others will chase it, trying to get it from the other chicken. It's hilarious. But they're such interesting animals. So, back to my filet here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. And we'll see you guys in the kitchen. And this right here is almost the final product. Um, like I said, I went ahead and put that fish in the freezer for probably about 30 minutes to 40 minutes just to firm it up a little bit and get it nice and cold. And then I went ahead and sliced it up into my sashimi pieces and then sliced the avocado. So the one different thing I'm going to do here is I found this seasoning at my local grocery store, Sprouts. Uh, Taijin? Taijin? I don't know what it's called. Uh, but I always see it when I go in there and it's a pretty basic seasoning. I mean, it's chili peppers, sea salt, uh, dehydrated, dehydrated, dehydrated lime juice. And it just kind of sounds something that might be a little interesting on some raw fish and avocado. So we're going to sprinkle a little bit of that on there. Or a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Boom. Just like that. Got a little bit of lemon here. Just a little drizzle of lemon. And I was going to use the wasabi, however, this has chili pepper in it, so I'm gonna kinda tone down the heat and just stick with the seasoning for now. All right, we got the chopsticks. We have to stay official here. Let's go. Dip in that soy. Mm, mm, mm. It 
It's so funny because I feel like a lot of people are kind of turned off by eating Spanish mackerel raw. I don't know why. I think that's the first time I ever even have, I, I, that I've ever even had Spanish mackerel was raw. Um, but I know a few people I brought it up to and they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, it's amazing. Like, look at the quality of this right here. White, clean, perfection. Like, you don't get any better than this. But if you guys have had Spanish mackerel raw, you already know what I'm talking about. But right now this video is ending. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a positive comment below. And I will see you guys on the next one. See ya.